Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. We're working with balancing the mind in today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya and when we're working with balancing the mind, we're working towards non-duality. So the brain and the mind in its nature is dual. We think in terms of positive and negative or right and wrong. And this Kriya moves us into a space of neutrality where we find that it is what it is. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good rub and bring our prayer mudra into the heart center. Take a deep inhale as you lengthen tall through the spine. Exhale to relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale to draw the chin in towards the neck. Let's take a deep inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in until you get the hang of them. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice, keeping you safe from injury, keeping the space that you're practicing in clear and protected. Exhaling, relaxing the hands to the knees in Gyan Mudra, index fingers to thumbs, just allowing those mantras to settle in the body, in the mind, bringing you into presence for your Kundalini Yoga practice. We're gonna start this Kriya to balance the mind by bringing the palms together, closing the fingers over the palms, and we're holding this mudra in front of the heart center and we're squeezing. With a long, slow, deep breath, the eyes are rolled down to the tip of the nose. You can have your eyes open very slightly or closed, but the eyes are rolling down to the tip of the nose and we're squeezing tight with a long, slow, deep breath. So if you imagine here that the hands are representing the hemispheres of the brain, what we're doing is we're reforging that connection between the right and left hemispheres, between the logical and creative selves. And in yogic terms, this translates as the ha and the ta, the sun and the moon energies. And the tighter we can hold this, the tighter we can really get these palms together to merge. So the closer we become to that experience of non-duality, where we're moving into that space of neutrality, of it is what it is. Breathe long, slow, deep. Eyes roll down to the tip of the nose. Keep squeezing those hands together. Good, now we're going to accentuate this squeeze by bringing our whole body into it. So you're squeezing your elbows against your ribs, you're squeezing your mulband, your anus and sex organs, you're squeezing your navel, and you're continuing with the eyes fixed down to the tip of the nose. You're continuing to breathe long, slow and deep, but this time every muscle in the body is squeezing tight. So where we consolidate that experience of non-duality in the brain, 
by transversing the left and right hemispheres, so too we move beyond the experience of non-duality in the body where there is this muscle and that muscle, there is me and you, where it becomes all one. And we squeeze tight to get that experience of oneness, to become one, to merge our finite self with our infinite self. Squeeze, keep squeezing. Hands are squeezing, elbows are squeezing, pelvic floor is squeezing, belly is squeezing, shoulders are squeezing, jaw is squeezing, squeeze. Breathing deep. Squeeze. Now take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in and squeeze even tighter. Squeeze the hands, squeeze more bund. That means you're squeezing the pelvic floor up. You're pulling the belly in. You're raising that energy up, 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 up. Squeeze. And exhale, relax and release. We're going to come straight onto the back. We're extending the legs straight up, the arms straight up. If this is a challenge for you, tuck a pillow underneath the feet. And we're holding this posture as we're squeezing tight through every muscle of our being. Squeeze, consolidate, create yourself into a U shape. Squeeze the belly, squeeze the toes, pointing the toes up, squeeze the fingers, pointing the fingers up, squeeze the arms and the legs, squeeze the torso, squeeze the jaw. If this is a challenge to hold the legs up straight, bend the knees, but keep that experience of squeezing, of squeezing yourself beyond the dual and into that experience of non-duality, squeeze. Hold it very still as you breathe deep and squeeze. Nearly there, keep it squeezing, keep it held. Take a deep inhale, hold that breath, squeeze more buns, squeeze every muscle of your being, feel as if you've become like a stone, squeeze it, consolidate it. And exhale, bring the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the knees, make sure that your ankles aren't crossed, your feet are side by side, and we're bringing the nose up towards the knees here. And again, we're finding ourselves squeezing into a full stop point. Lifting the head, there's a nice little pressure here on the thyroid and um, on the thyroid and parathyroid, which brings into balance the metabolism. And we're squeezing ourselves into that full stop point, really consolidating every aspect of our being here. Squeeze. The temptation here as the pressure builds in the neck is to drop the head down. Do not drop your head down if you can help it. Even if you use your hand to hold your head up, do so. But keep the head lifted. You'll find that it's a lot less challenging to keep the head lifted than it is to drop the head back and come back into the posture. You're doing really well. Keep it lifted. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing. Consolidating yourself. Find your way through this posture. You can do it. Lovely healing on Vishuddha Chakra here, the throat chakra. So many of us have challenges in this area where we struggle to express our truth. We struggle to be heard. We struggle to voice our needs. This is where that healing happens. Hold the space for it. We're so nearly there. Keep lifting, keep squeezing. Keep breathing. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight. Get the nose even closer to the knees. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And exhale. Relax and release onto the back. Allow all of that energy to circulate fully through the whole of your body. Relax down into the support beneath you. Allow yourself to be held. 
and consciously invite the body to soften. So where you have been squeezing, now allow yourself to melt down. Relinquish all control and offer yourself up in a deep surrender here. Being heavy on the earth. With every exhale, offering yourself a little deeper to that heaviness. Inhale deep, exhale fully, inhale, left knee into the chest, exhale across the body to the right side, turn the head to the opposite direction to the knee, inhaling to center, exhaling down, inhaling opposite side up, exhaling across the body, turning the head, breathe into that twist, inhaling to center, exhaling down inhaling both knees into the chest wrapping the arms around the knees give yourself a little rock from side to side and then tuck the hands into the creases behind the knees and rock forwards and back up and down along the spine a few times until you come all the way up to sitting and here we'll drop the chin to the chest open the eyes to gaze softly down to the lap and we'll come all the way up to standing We've got our hands in the Amudra, index fingers touching thumbs, there's a 90 degree angle in the elbow. And we're going to start to skip. So you're nice and steady with your rhythm as you skip and you hold your arms aloft. If your balance will allow, close the eyes. If you're feeling a little bit shaky in the balance, just have the eyes very slightly open and gazing down. That's it. Skippity, skippity, skip. Get into your rhythm. And just allow yourself to dance free. Liberate yourself with this dance. This is how Shiva, the Hindu god, who is known as Adi Yoga, the first yogi, this is how he created his world. And this is how we create ours by the vibrations, by the movements, so we create. That's it, stay with it. Skipping, feeling the breath raising, feeling the heartbeat raising. Have fun and smile. Coming back down, take a deep inhale. And exhale, drop the hands down, drop the chin to the chest, opening the eyes to gaze softly down at the toes and come whew, all the way down to sitting. Hands are in Gyan Mudra on the knees, touching index fingers to thumbs. And we close the eyes as we experience the heart, perhaps beating a little harder, we experience the breath, perhaps a little more ragged. Invite yourself to become very present with it. Experience the self, the physical self. Experience the subtle self. Allow yourself to just be, be here now. In total acceptance of all that is, not changing anything.
Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. We're going to bring the hands into the armpits and just start to massage the armpits now. Massaging those lymph nodes, getting the energy moving, lovely detoxification here. Remember to breathe, keep the breath flowing long, slow and deep. And into those armpits, into those lymph nodes. This will stimulate the nervous system as well as the lymphatic system, giving us glowing skin, giving us a shining positive outlook on life. And now bringing your hands into fists and just starting to beat the tops of the chest with your fists. Nice steady movement. All across the top of the chest. Just a gentle rhythmic tapping. Breathing as you tap. And then bring your tapping onto your thighs. Tapping from the tops of the knees all the way to the hips. Breathing deep and soothing the nervous system. That's it, steady tapping. bringing the hands to stillness, resting them on the knees. We're going to sit in meditation rather than take Guru Shavasana today. We're going to really allow ourselves to experience the mind as we sit here comfortably with a long, slow, deep breath, the eyes closed and rolled up and into the third eye point. Settling into stillness with the breath. Consciously inviting the body to soften here upon the earth. Relaxing and releasing the pelvic floor and any holding around the base of the body. Relaxing, softening and releasing the navel, which is where we tend to hold a lot of our tension. Relaxing and releasing the chest, the torso, relaxing and releasing the arms. Relaxing and releasing the face and the jaw. Inviting the self to completely surrender towards the earth. Be held. And in this space of softness and deep relaxation. So we turn our attention to that screen behind the closed eyes. And we settle ourselves in our skull as if we're at the movie theater. With our box of popcorn and we're just observing whatever arises upon that screen behind our closed eyes. We're noticing any colours, 
any shapes or patterns. Perhaps there's nothing that you can notice and that's fine too. We're observing whatever arises upon that screen behind the closed eyelids. And we are remaining completely equanimous. There's no judgment here. There is simply observing. Just noticing whatever arises upon that screen behind the closed eyelids. And when you notice that your thoughts have distracted you, whether that's with an idea or a memory or a projection, simply observe, recognize that a thought has arisen and then turn your attention back to the screen behind the closed eyelids. Return yourself to non-judgment, simply observing Now we'll release that screen. We'll bring our palms together in the center of the chest, give them a good rub. We'll bring our prayer mudra into the heart center and we'll take a deep inhale to chant Satnam, truth is my name. Satnam. Dropping chin to chest. Offering your gratitude to body and mind and breath for bringing you to this practice today. Sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. And coming back into the room whenever you feel ready. Sat Nam. I'm Yogi Gems. I hope you enjoyed today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya to balance the mind. If you did, please do like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Always love to hear your comments. Uh, so let me know what your experience of this career was. And thank you to everybody for supporting me on coffee and through the YouTube super thanks. You know who you are. You are very appreciated. Love you very much. Satnam. Lots of love.